I don't know why they keep this place on the list. It helps to pay your wages, Tom. But it's just full of old techno junk. Come on, get a move on. We've got to keep on schedule. He'll be back in an hour. Let's get going. Have you dealt with the alarms? Yes, of course. This is it! Found it. Good. Kathy, are you getting anything from the computer museum? No. Why? I think I just saw something moving in there. What is it? Check out front. The front's secure. I'm going to check round the back. Intruder confirmed! But the alarm! Reboot them. I'll try and shut them in. They're on to us! until backup arrives. National Anarchist Society. I think it's the end of my career. Well, not if you don't mention it. I won't, but they will. It's my final vetting. They dig back into everything. Your school days, what pets you had, when your voice broke, what age you learned to walk. How long were you an anarchist for? I never was one. I just joined the society at university because they had the best parties. Oh. And because there was a girl you fancied? Yes, there was a girl I fancied. But she didn't like me. And after six weeks, she left the anarchists and took up synchronized swimming. <laughs> so I left too. Then there's nothing to worry about. Even if they found out, they wouldn't sack you. I wouldn't be so sure. Hello? Jan. OK. Straight away. I'm wanted at the computer museum. Look, don't worry. You'll be fine. I wish I had your optimism. What happened to the anarchist girlfriend? She married some anthropologist. From revolution to evolution. <laughs> See you. 
You're going to need some warmer clothing than that, Ed. Things any smoother with you and Ross? It's very up and down. Oh, Beckett, don't tell me the sea's rough. Oh, wouldn't make any difference to us anyway. We're flying in. Are we? This is Commodore Oxendale from NATO. He's come to brief you. This is Sea Ranger 4, an old exploration rig decommissioned about five years ago. Since then, she's been used as a maritime tracking station for satellites re-entering the atmosphere. Just a tracking station? You're aware of the dangers posed when large, uncontrollable space vehicles re-enter the atmosphere. Yeah, big chunks of metal fall on us from the sky. NATO Command has a malfunctioning orbiter which will re-enter our atmosphere tomorrow on a trajectory which is uncontrolled. Normally, Sea Ranger would transmit codes to the onboard self-destruct mechanism just before the orbiter hits the atmosphere. But... All data links with Sea Ranger have been lost. Well, won't the crew repair them? There's been no communication from the crew. Really? No cries for help? Just silence. And has anyone tried to contact them? The standard security protocol is to send an investigation team in without warning. The most important thing is that we restore the telemetry link. So, Commodore, what exactly is this uh, rogue satellite? It's Warbird Alpha. Part of the Star Shield system? Yes, a 100 ton orbital weapons platform. Well, that'll make one hell of a crater. Why anyone should want to steal a 25-year-old mainframe is beyond me. There's more computing power in this electronic notebook. Exactly. And why this machine in particular? I wonder if this could be relevant. Donated by Pascal Marine Limited. There could be security implications. This machine was used for defence contracts. 25 years ago... Warships designed then are still in commission. You really think there could be some long-forgotten defence secret still in the memory? That's why I called you in. Even if there was something still on the memory, computer technology's moved on. How would you get it out? This is it. How can you tell? I put it there myself. All we need now is the one your father had. toothbrush. What Pascal Marine project was that computer used on? All our projects. We only had the one computer in those days. I think I typed the order for it myself. Yes. Look. April 1974. A real red letter day when that computer arrived. What was the yard building then? Ah, those were our boom years. Artemis destroyers, tankers for Kuwait, Sea Ranger. Sea Ranger, the oil rig? The oil exploration platform. I remember it very clearly because of the brouhaha. The what? The scandal. Don't you remember? Before my time. <laughs> that dreadful man, McCormack, and the other one, Vincenzi. To think I used to babysit his children. What happened? <sighs> It's all in the files. But if you want the inside story, my dear, make yourself comfortable. You do shorthand, of course. Sea Ranger 4, come in, over. Sea Ranger 4, did you copy over? Sea Ranger 4, are you receiving? 
records ready when we land. I weren't expecting anyone. Over. That's the whole point, Sea Ranger. Systems inspection team out. Drop to other rigs. He'll pick us up on the way back. <laughs> it's been a hand. Thank you. We'll see you later. I'm Gray. This is Kretzmeier. Thanks. Hi. You look frozen. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a cup of tea. Of course. Tea all round. I'll give you a hand. Uh, kitchen's through here. Where's Commander Nordstrom? Right here. Hi. Nice of you to drop by. How can we help you? There's a major telemetry failure. Satellite control lost you completely. Have you had no indications of systems failure? You haven't noticed anything? Well, perhaps we should look a bit harder. Unless you like the idea of a 100-ton military orbiter crashing onto a European city in 12 hours' time. Right. Now, mugs. Mugs. Over here. All oh, right. Kretzmeier must have been tidying up again. Right. Jan, I've got this off the security cameras at the computer museum. The stolen computer was used in the design department at Pascal, which 25 years ago was run by this man. Hang on, I'll bring up the file. The same man who raided the computer museum. It's Joseph McCormack. You know him. It was the biggest spy scandal of the 70s. McCormack was caught selling naval plans to the Balkan Republic. Right. He also had a colleague named Vincenzi. He worked at Pascal, too. They were the design team on the Sea Ranger oil platform. But Vincenzi died. Yeah, look. When they came to arrest him, Vincenzi made a run for it across the yard. He tried to hide aboard the rig they were building, but was killed trying to escape. The Sea Ranger 4. How long will you be? I have no idea. Definitely no longer than uh, 11 hours and 48 minutes. How can you be so precise? Because after that, it doesn't matter. Then we better get off to work. Uh, maybe we should. You heard the man. Clock's ticking. Who are these two? When McCormack was in prison, he had two regular visitors. Vincenzi's son, Liam, and his daughter, Sarah. Get addresses for them. Track them down. I'm sure they're the key to this. Can you pass me the multimeter? It's that one. Sorry, I thought you were an electronics expert. The guys are. I just handle the admin side. Bit unusual, isn't it? Having a non-specialist in charge of an installation like this. Tell me about it. Sometimes wonder whose toes I must have trodden on to get assigned here. S-Ban systems. Check. There's no problem. Again. I don't know. Maybe it's gremlins. Yeah. Did you see that? See what? 
I've just seen something move down there. That's the decommissioned area. Commander, are you using the decommissioned area for anything? No, it's closed off. Why? Ed, must have been your imagination. The ghost of an old sea dog. <laughs> yeah, like the Flying Dutchman. Do you know what? I've got a feeling we're wasting our time looking for faults in the electronics. Do you think we should check out the crew? Ros, can you talk? <laughs> Excuse me. Can now. Becky, there is something very odd about Lundstrom. You know, Gray doesn't even know his way around the galley. And he called it the kitchen. I mean, that is definitely not lady speaking. Yeah, but you know what stress and isolation can do to people? Yeah, these guys are stressed. But I think we're the cause of it. I'm going to check out this decommissioned area. OK. I'll check out the crew quarters. OK. OK. Who's there? Ed, are you okay? Yeah, just a little spooked. The crew are cutting holes in the bulkheads. Whatever for? We're opening up the steelwork. It looks like there's some kind of a treasure hunt. We're searching for what? Can you get a closer look? OK. Have you found anything interesting? Well, you could say that. Somehow, I don't think our commander Nordstrom is quite the genuine article. Just found the real Nordstrom. He's a guy, all right. Or was. Kretzmeyer too. If the real crew are dead, who's on the rig with us? There was no one at Sarah Vincenzi's flat. Just about to try the brother. Activate your video camera. Gas safety agency. We've had reports of a leaking main. We haven't smelled anything. By the time you do, it's usually too late. What's going on? Oh, don't mind me. Just carry on with what you were doing. Someone reported a gas leak. You'd be surprised the number of calls we have. They're very often false alarms. But of course, we have to take them seriously. It's rare there's ever a big explosion. But I'm sure you wouldn't want to damage your nice new kitchen. Is this going to take long? Nearly done. Ah. All clear. Sorry to have bothered you. Did you believe that? She didn't seem authentic to me.
She drove straight off. She didn't even check the other houses. Pack up. We're leaving. It's like we've traced the source of the telemetry failure. The main transmitter link. Crude, but effective. Yeah. I wonder. Sabotage? Or a side effect of the treasure hunt? Get over to us as soon as you can. with the others. We're here to get the satellite system back online. Look at his name badge. You're Paul Gray. Yes. Last surviving member of the crew. So who were the others then? I don't know. We never knew they were on board until they started shooting. What do they want? We can worry about that later. The most important thing is we get this place functional again. Right now. Paul, we're gonna need your help. Yes. Of course. What time's your interview? Half an hour. Good. I'm not too late then. Too late for what? To wish you luck. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Any joy with that circuit board? Yes. Um, I checked with the museum. They confirm it comes from the stolen computer. Why is that one board so important? I don't know. And something about it doesn't look right. How do you mean? Electronically, it doesn't make sense. Stick this in a computer and turn it on, nothing would happen. Then why does McCormick want it so badly? Call up the archive files on the Vincenzi McCormick incident. Moving as fast as we can. The second unit must be somewhere in this section, right? Yeah, it's the area that was under construction when my father was killed. We've only got another deck to go. Keep a lookout for that inspection team. They're all over the place. If they get in our way, we'll give them the same treatment we gave the crew. We've traced the source of the problem. Good. What are you going to do with her? We'll put her somewhere safe until we get the satellite problem solved. And then we'll find out exactly who she is and exactly what she's after. Sea Ranger, Sea Ranger, this is helicopter Lima Foxtrot 6. On my way back as arranged, with you in 20 minutes. This is Sea Ranger, we copy. We'll have additional passengers for you. I don't really see why these guys wanted to create a problem with Warburg. Maybe they didn't. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Paul, can you reset the sabotage power line we found? Sure. OK, me and Ed will get down to the control room. We're going to reset the signal systems.
Jan, contact with the rig. About time. Have you got the picture of the girl? It's coming through now, Roz. This is off the video I took at Liam's flat. Her picture was on his worktop. Guys, look, that's our fake Commander Nordstrom. It's Sarah Vincenzi. Her father used to work in the same office as McCormack. Well, what do they want? I've been reading up on what happened 25 years ago. Apparently, McCormack and Vincenzi were given instructions for collection of their payoff the night they were caught. Must have been a pretty big payoff. They're about to hand over the plans for the most advanced warship in the world. It was. Two million pounds of stolen, index-linked government bonds, which have never been recovered. Roz, when I was at the Vincenzi house, I saw this circuit board from the missing computer. We heard them talking about a second unit, so... They could be looking for another board like this. Well, could these circuit boards hold the instructions for the payoff? Payoff they never collected. McCormack must have hidden his board in the computer before he was arrested. And Vincenzi hid the second board somewhere on the Sea Ranger just before he died. And they need both to extract the information. Look, once you've restored the telemetry link, I want you to find that other circuit board. Those bonds are like a massive blank check signed by the Chancellor. Yeah, but how are we going to find the boards? I mean, this place is huge. Ricky, I've got an idea. This circuit board has a resin coating to protect the components. Makes sense. It was built to maritime specifications. Which means the other one probably does as well. And it's been sealed inside a bulkhead somewhere for 25 years. But won't the resin have degraded after all that time? Exactly. There will have been a minute build-up of gases somewhere inside the bulkhead. If we had the right equipment... What, like uh, gas detectors? Perfect. Suggested I've got it wrong, have you? Chance of some tea. I'm dying of thirst. Terrible thing, thirst. Where are they? Around here somewhere. It's just like old times. Coming from the bullet holes. I told you it'd work. The circuit board's behind this panel. There it is. Hold it. 
They found what we came for. Sarah! We've got it. Get on deck quickly. I've got us an alternative escape room. Becky, the woman got loose and killed the pilot. One of them must be able to fly that chopper. They've got the circuit board as well. I'm gonna hitch a ride. Okay, look. With Paul's help, Roz and I can deal with the telemetry. You stick with that circuit board. Yep, understood. Beckett, I thought Paul was fixing this. I'll do it. Paul must be setting things up in the control room. I'll go and check. Radio's in my call, Matt. If the circuits don't make sense electronically, how can the boards help locate the bonds? There's no way they can contain information as data. Well, if they're no use of circuit boards, what are they for? They must have some use. They're not just for decoration. No. It's not exactly a work of art. The components make patterns, but they just don't make sense. Let's try it from further away. What do you make of it from here? It's like one of those puzzle photos where you have to guess what things are. It's usually a huge close-up of a tea strainer or something. Or perhaps it's just the opposite. Not a close-up at all, but from a distance. Like an aerial view. Yes, that's it. It's got nothing to do with electronics. The components are symbols on a map. A treasure map. Ros. Whoever cut this cable has made a thorough job of it. I may need some extra gear. OK, let me know if you do. Ross, are you three in sight of each other? No, Ed's gone off in the helicopter with the Vincenzi woman and the others. Look, Jan, I'll call you again when Beckett's restored power to the transmitter. <gasps> oh, where have you been? It's Beckett. There's been an accident. Come quickly. Paul, well, where are we going? He's in the decompression chamber the divers use. The main cable runs by here. He must have traced another fault. satellite telemetry. This will prevent you from safely destroying Warbird Alpha when it re-enters the atmosphere. I'm willing to reconnect the transmitter, but it will cost you. If Warbird comes down on a city, rather a lot of people could die. I think five million pounds is a reasonable price to pay to avoid that, don't you? Paul Gray. I thought I'd seen the last of him. You know him? Till nine months ago, he was my chief of operations. There were some financial irregularities. We had to let him go. I guess he didn't think much of his leaving present. I thought your people were on Sea Ranger to fix the problem. Uh, they found a sabotage, but assumed it had been caused by the people who'd killed the other crew members. 
Why did Gray wait until now to make his demand? Well, presumably his plan was interrupted by the arrival of Sarah Vincenzi and her friends. This satellite comes down in two hours. I must have those links re-established. I can assure you they will be. One way or another. Commodore, I hope you're not thinking of paying him. If we can't operate the self-destruct, the satellite will come down in one piece. A five million pound blackmail would be cheap compared to the destruction of a major city. It won't come to that. I have total confidence in my team. Hello? Oh. Ed. Ed, I can't hear you. Big family reunion time. Sarah met up with her brother and McCormack. All the backs up and gave me a chance to get out of the chopper. The helicopter's taken off again. Yeah, with just the other two. But I left a bug on it. Ed. I'll get an SSD squad to pick them up. Where's the other circuit board? With Sarah and McCormack. They went off by car. What's the interest in these circuit boards? We think they're maps. They're maps of where? They're of a very small area, presumably somewhere where you landed. Ed, we've only got one circuit board here, only half the information. Would a video of the other one help? You bet it would. The whole picture, at last. I'm glad it makes sense to you. Which way? Then right. I hope you're not making this up. Our father died for this. I served 25 years. You don't think I'm gonna mess around now? Tin on me you're using. <laughs> Be my guest. These chambers are built to withstand huge pressures. The money transfer is being arranged now. Don't pull the wool over my eyes. It doesn't take that long to set up an electronic transfer. It is being done. Gray, you'll get your money now. Just reconnect that transmitter. The lower that orbiter comes, the greater the risk of collateral damage when it breaks up. Sorry, Oxy, but I can't take your word for it. I won't move until that money arrives at my bank. <laughs> Keep thinking about all the things I never said I had the chance. Make it the way other chances. We are not going to die here. That's what I like about you, Ross. You're such a cockeyed optimist. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe it's about time I started being a realist. Come on, come on. Me As you are, okay? Please. Off the egg. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. 
How do they work as maps? The transistors and resistors represent different buildings. And the electrical track lines are side streets. What about the capacitors? They're prominent landmarks. Our geographic database came up with a match for the topography on the circuit board. But until we got your video of the other board, we didn't know exactly where McCormack and the Vincenzi's were headed. These three capacitors are triangulation points. Yeah, but how do you work backwards from them to find the target? See these numbers? They look like serial numbers, but they're actually angles. Those are the bearings. So that's where they hid the money. Absolutely. Let's get on with it then. We've got eight minutes before the satellite re enters the atmosphere. Oh, will you get everything powered up? I'll have to lay in a new stretch of cable. Any sign of grey? No. This place could give a haunted house a run for its money. <laughs> is Sea Ranger. Repeat, this is Sea Ranger. All systems online and ready. About time. Now prepare to send the self-destruct signal to Warbit Alpha. Sea Ranger's gone again. Send the detonation code to the warbird. Well, the transmitter's okay, but we'll have to cobble together a signal generator. Actually, it's government property. The building's surrounded. Give yourselves up now. You're bluffing. 
Try us. This cost me half my life. I'm not gonna give it up now. Is it ready yet? Yeah, I just need to test it. We've got no time to test it. The signal has to go now. Self-destruct signal activated and initiated. Warbird Alpha has safely broken up. Oh. Well done, Sea Ranger. Thank you. We did it. you are. You won't get away. Try and stop me. I'm warning you. Thanks for these, McCormick. Only don't expect to find these for you. Don't tell me they mentioned the Anarchist Society. They can't have done. They didn't. I did. I told them all about it. Said I wanted to be completely straight with them. Do you know what the guy said? That there was no record of you being in any such organization? They were quite upset. Couldn't understand why their researchers had missed it. Just can't get the staff these days. Next time, if you're going to do me a favor, make sure I know about it. Sorry. Did they sack you? I passed. But they want me to organize a full independent review of all Hive staff records to ensure these kind of things don't happen again. But that could take weeks, months. Yeah. I nominated you for the job. <laughs> don't wind me up. 